here we are at Ellington. Pretty cool property, actually. And in terms of walkability, we're very close to Coango. When I drive back, I'll show you how close we are to all the shops and whatnot on Coango. Um, there's only parking on one side of the street. It was not hard, because um, there's, you know, a ton of it. Um, but this side, since it's a narrow street, does not have parking. So, let's show you around the place. Got a lovely coffee bar today. Steps to go up to the backyard. Here's the front entrance. Did you get a coffee? I'm gonna grab one on my way out. Okay, cool. A quick little video for my clients. Hi! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'll show you outside. Let's go upstairs though. Half bath down here. There's like a little playroom. It also has the laundry. Proper washroom. You don't have the washer dryer stuck in the uh kitchen like you see sometimes and there's our water heater closet that is a big one for a house of this size so certainly won't be running out of hot water show you upstairs Here's the master, pretty cool. It's a little deck. I got these. Big walk-in. All the dance hats. <laughs> Really cool sunken shower. The two shower heads, actually three, what's this guy? Double vanity, a lot of natural light. A lot of the lights are off in the house actually, so if it looks dark, just take my word, it's bright and it could even get brighter. Here's the kids' bath. This room's a bit bigger than that last one. They're having it set up as an office. So it's also got a built-in little desk nook. And this one has two closets. Number one. And number two. This one goes a little deeper. 
hard to see. There we go. Goes a little deeper than you might initially think because that's right there. Actually, yeah, and it goes back far that way as well. So this room has a very good closet space. You got nest throughout, which means you can control your climate remotely from your phone, which is kind of cool. If you are you know, going about your day, you're like, did I turn the heat off? You can check that and turn it off from your phone. Pretty cool. Turn the AC on if you're uh, heading back on a hot day. So anyways, this is um, off the master, obviously. One, one thing though, it's the spines of the roof look like they've seen a little better, better days, but Everything's negotiable and we'll of course, or you know, we would, regardless of the property, inspect the daylights out of it. So that should not be a deterrent at this stage of things. Really cool up here. They've terraced it really well. A lot of times in the hills, it's just kind of hillside, but they've done a lot. I mean, this, this work is very expensive to uh, terrace this way with retaining walls and all that good stuff show you that deck in a second. Ping pong up here. Hammock. And uh, these steps kind of take you up to the hammock access. Um, I see a lot of people put um, like standalone jacuzzis or hot tubs in places like this. Doesn't seem like that would be too hard to do. It's fairly flat as is already up here. I mean, you could even just put it there, whatever. Whatever you wanted, if you wanted. Shouldn't be too hard here. It's a really good piece of land. All right, I'll show you the studio space, which uh, is pretty cool. I took the measurements. I don't have them off the top of my head. I'll include it in an email though. Um, Here's access, which is how you would come in through the garage, I think. Yeah, I think you'd go through the garage, walk through there. Pool area, little bar, built-in seating on the side. Got your pool utilities neatly tucked away behind there. the studio so it's got these like built-in archways that I could probably take out because this is just like kind of entry space otherwise and one interesting note is that, so in addition to this space, plus this space, um, I'll send pictures, because I don't think you're gonna be able to see it too, all well, kind of. I took a few pictures with the flash, but the agent was telling me, so behind this wall, you can't extend, but behind, so everything, you know, this and that, it's actually all, all framed already, and, and it's, you know, concreted floor in there. I'll send you the pictures, so, just looking at it, I couldn't get my tape measure. Um, looking at it, hmm, maybe like like eight feet going that way, ish. Maybe not quite, and maybe another five going this way. Hard to say though. Um, and then the access to that, which the agent unfortunately didn't have a key to, is right there. Yeah. And then, so here's the garage, which does not have interior access. So you would park in here. I believe it's one car. There's that, there's the access to that space that I'll send you a picture of, so pretty cool. I will, uh, like I said, 
send the pictures, the measurements, and I'll add on to this video what it looks like to drive to Koenga, because we are actually walkable, I didn't realize. Here's this again. All right. All right, leaving property now, if I don't crash the car. Here's the property with the open house sign. So just doing this to show um, how close we are to Koenga. Just all around here. And just like that, we've got shops, restaurants, stores, all that good stuff on here. A Starbucks and a little mini mall with a good amount of stuff in there turning left here so you'll get to see what is to the left on Koenga. Food. There's a theater here. Good stuff. 